In this video, we will discuss adding fixtures to our layouts within Mosaic Designer 2. To do this, select a fixture. You then have the option to set any fixture properties. For more information on this, please see the video on fixture properties. Once I've selected that and set the properties if I choose, I can hover over my screen and add the fixtures with a click. If I wish to add multiple fixtures, I have a couple options for this. I can select the fixture again, select any properties I need, and then hold my control key and add multiple fixtures. There's also an option at the top of fixture properties to turn auto finish on or off. If you're gonna be adding a lot of fixtures to the layout, I recommend turning this off. Then you can click as many times as you wish and add fixtures to the layout. Once you're done, hit the finish key. Once you've placed a fixture on the layout, you have options for duplicating it. If you select a fixture and click Duplicate at the top, it will bring up our Duplicate Wizard. You can duplicate in a rectangle or a circle. Inside of Rectangle, you have the option to set the rectangle width and spacing. Under Circle, you have the option for Radius, Count, Start Angle, and whether it goes clockwise or anti-clockwise. If your fixtures are already in a group, and we'll talk more about groups in a later video, you can choose whether to add them back into the group. If you simply want to duplicate a single fixture or a small group of fixtures, you can select that fixture, hold the control key, and drag from that fixture off. This will create a new fixture of the same properties and settings as the previous one. You can also select a fixture or a selection of fixtures and use the cut, copy, and paste commands. I can copy and then paste. And this can either be done from the top commands over here by right-clicking or using the standard keyboard shortcuts of Control-C, Control-V, and Control-X. Repeat all of these steps, selecting whatever fixture types you need and setting their properties until you've added all of your fixtures to your layout. Remember, once you've placed a fixture on the layout, you can always select it and modify its properties, such as width, height, and location.